So we're in the heart of Coventry and you can see over there Coventry Transport Museum and uh, that's where we're aiming. We're going across there because there's a Jaguar exhibition. There's the bus station over there, we call that Pool Meadow. We'll risk our lives getting across the road. Buses come this way. I'm going straight over behind the taxi, there we are. Now we're amongst the... There's Sir Frank Whittle. That's him up there. Gosh, he was tall. We'll uh, go down and have a look at some of these jags. Well, there's one or two here, isn't there? Oh, that one's won a prize. Yes. It's a nice one. I'm going to have a look at this old one over here. Is that a Jaguar, really? What's this one? That looks nice. XJS 12 V12 convertible. Wow, look at that. All leather interior. But this is nice. Look at that. And that one is nice too. Uh, that's okay, that is what is it? Is it Jaguar? It's rather a, a sweet jobby that is. Look at all these Jags. That's well packed in there. I wouldn't want to work on that. These are all jammed in. This looks like a V12. It's a massive engine. Just look at that. No, I don't know if it is a V. Let's go and see what it says. That one's a Daimler. That one is a Daimler. Jaguar V12. Oh, that's a V12. Look at that all packed in there. Yeah, that one's the V12. Amazes me how they're all, all the stuff is packed in there. Good gracious. Isn't that jammed in? Ancient one over here, we'll give a look at that. Oh, it's an E type. That's rather smart. Jaguar SS. Is spotless, beautiful. Apparently, that one's supercharged. You can see another ancient one at the back here. 
Whoa, look at that thing. Somebody's pumped that up with a, a pump, I should say. It's just big for the sake of it. I think this one is saying, look at me, I've got a really big Jaguar. Doesn't look any more practical than that one. But uh, I think I'd sooner have one of the sporty ones than one of these big chunky jobbies. Not that I'm in this league at all. What do we got here? A brown, yeah. I don't much go on the colour, but never mind. I mustn't worry about it. Yeah, I don't like that one. Yeah, that's a bulky lump for the sake of it. I thought Jaguar had sleek lines, they didn't need to puff them up like a puffed up winking peacock. But it's each to their own. Leather straps holding the bonnet down. A lot of space in there. This lovely sleek lines, and then you've got that great big bulbous thing. I don't understand why. Just look how lovely the lines are on all of these, even the older ones. And then they've come up with that great big bulbous, blown up Jaguar. Never mind, get over it, Dave, get over it. Some old jobbies here. Don't tell me he's a Jaguar tank down here. That looks like a V6. It's the coil on the top there. Oh. My little tank. It looks like the little tank that was in a lower low. We can't look at all of these. We've spent seven minutes already. I don't know. We'll do a little more. Maybe I should go a bit quicker. But just look at these sleek lines on all these jags. And then they have that big puffed up thing. Can't stand. Just look at these lovely lines. It's quite beyond me why they needed to make that thing. It's gone at a departure from almost everything they've done. Look at that. Lovely lines. Even the earlier ones had these lovely rounded lines, aerodynamic, and they do that big puffed up jobby. David, get over it. Just get over it. Jaguar Supercharged, don't know what it is. Oh, that one's called Princess. I think this one must be from England. I don't know. It's a right hand drive as well. There's the walkway into Lady Herbert's gardens. Oh my word, what's this? one with the bonnet up over here we'll have a look at the, uh, the mechanical bits oh, but that's warm in the summer is that a British racing green e-type there coupe whoa that is what you call an engine it's well packed in Four carbs, each uh, two carbs feeding each side of the V. I used to tune twin carburetors back in the day, but unfortunately now mechanics aren't able to do that unless there's a computer involved. I used to do it by ear, and uh, when they eventually got the machines and put it on there, 
I'd already got it where it should be, so that's what you can do with the ear. But, but mechanicking has been de skilled over the years. I used to grind cranks, I used to service injectors, everything throw it away now. So we throw everything away, we don't service anything. Too costly. But we've become a throwaway society, which is rather a pity when it can all be done. But, oh, another one of these odd colours. There's the Millennium whatever it is. That's a sort of silver grey, isn't it? That's rather nice. Let's have a look inside it. Now this is a bit bulbous, but it's still got sleek lines, unlike that awful thing over there that blue monster still pretty sleek don't know what it is it's a Jaguar HJR Sport 3 litre turbo twin diesel V6 300 brake horsepower and it will do 0 to 60 in 5.9 seconds it's not bad is it and now we've been all the way around I'm sure we've missed some in the middle but we'll have a little wander up through I think I can't imagine how many are here This was um, oh, right. this was a factory special because you get factory special cars. Yeah. 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 Jaguar X one fifty. This one. E-Type. I don't know if that's British Racing Green, it's quite dark. 4.2 litre E-Type Jaguar. Well, with that awful blue pile of junk in the corner there, though I would accept it for a gift and flog it quickly, um, I'll leave you from the Coventry Transport Museum, a wonderful place to visit and uh, I don't know if it's still free, it was free but now it's only free to residents with a special card, So, but it was free for, for a long, many years so hopefully it will go back to being free. But. So bye for now and thank you for watching, this is the centre of Coventry, United Kingdom. Bye for now.